Hey everyone, this is Slyman. With everything that's kind of been going on lately, I thought it'd be fun to get outside and kind of show my setup, my imaging setup, my visual setup, you know, where I observe and, and kind of what I do. Um, it's a really nice night. Uh, the Pleiades and Venus are supposed to be really, really close together, so I'm planning on imaging that with my Celestron CGX mount and Explore Scientific David H. Levy Comet Hunter. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to, uh, to get outside and uh, show you what I've, uh, what I've been doing lately. So first I wanted to start with my makeshift observing pad. Uh, my son's swing set was filled with bees and wasps and things like that, so I took it apart, but I repurposed the wood, so I've made myself a little observing deck here. Uh, it's nothing fancy, hopefully one day I can get something a lot bigger with an actual dome, uh, but for now it works and it gives me a stable platform to image or to view from. Okay, so the first thing that you'll notice is all of my mounts are Celestron mounts. Uh, this is what I started with, and then I moved on to the Advanced VX, and I've kind of progressed up from there. Um, I really, really like Celestron mounts. I know the software really well, and I've stuck with them. And, you know, I've always found that they've worked really, really well. So if it ain't broke, why fix it, right? So the first thing I have, this is my Celestron Nexstar SE mount. Uh, why is there not a telescope on here, though? Well, this normally has my Explore Scientific ED80 carbon fiber mounted to it, which provides really good um, wide field views and wide field images as well. And I sent that to Explore Scientific a couple months ago for them to clean it and collimate it because it's getting pretty dusty. Then everything happened with the coronavirus and all that, and, you know, they're not shut down, but I'm not expecting to see that telescope for a while, so I do have a picture of it, so I'll show that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that telescope I don't have right now, so kind of a bummer, but that's that's all right. All right, so moving right along, this is the Celestron Advanced VX 8-inch Schmidt Cassegrain Telescope. I've had this set up for about mm, six years now, and you know, it's never really failed me at all. So the Advanced VX has just been a workhorse mount for me. I've beat it up, I've done everything to it, and it just still goes. So that's why I keep it, is it's just a great mount. Um, but this is the 8-inch Schmidt Cassegrain. It's what I primarily use all the time. It's a really great visual instrument, does good imaging as well. And then this is the Celestron 80mm guide scope. Now I use this setup for, um, you know, really long focal length imaging, which I don't do a lot. And then I also have a focal reducer as well, so I can do about 1200 millimeter focal length imaging. Uh, but with this guide scope set up and this telescope, you can actually do research on some of the brighter asteroids or comets or things like that if you wanted to. So um, you, you can do basic photometry, basic astrometry with this setup. Um, but yeah, this is a, a really good setup for me. Okay, so this is the Celestron CGX mount. This is a beast, and I love this mount. It is awesome. It tracks really, really well. Holds 55 pounds. So this is my Explore Scientific David H. Levy Comet Hunter. This is a 6-inch Maxutov Newtonian. This is my medium focal length imaging scope. I love this telescope. It gives amazing views. It does awesome for imaging as well. And on the CGX, it's an awesome combo. It doesn't weigh too much and uh, it, it just gets the job done. Now, there is one other thing I'd like to mention. I did say that um, I use this setup on the Advanced VX. Oftentimes, I will take the 8-inch Schmidt Cassegrain and the 80-millimeter guide scope, and I will put it on the CGX mount. So, CGX mount is rock solid. It's my main mount, and it is awesome. And then lastly, this is my 5-inch. Celestron StarSense Explorer DX. This is a 130 millimeter Newtonian with the smartphone enabled app. Now I've actually used this telescope more the last few months than any of the others because I can set it up so quickly. Um, in under two minutes you can be running with this. Uh, I think this telescope is is really really cool. I had the chance to review it and play around with it a lot and you know if you just have 10 to 15 minutes it's a great scope to take outside. So yeah, that's you know my observing setup, what I've got right now. Um, absolutely love it. I'm pretty happy and content with what I have. The only thing I will be adding besides you know the, the cameras and such is a RASA 8 pretty soon. I'm hoping to get one of those to get some really wide field imaging going. Um, but you know, stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, the sky is you know wide open to us. Even if we're going stir crazy at home, you can get out and get in your backyard and, and hopefully 
get some viewing done or get some imaging done. So again, um, hope you're hope you're doing well. And uh, that was just a little introduction to my equipment. And then in you know in a, a couple months when I get my hands on everything, I'll probably do a little channel update part two, showing you know my uh, my current setup. So thanks so much for watching. Again, stay safe, stay healthy, clear skies, and we'll uh, we'll see you later.